Hi, my name is Tim, Technical Support and Installation Engineer at ATRsoft. In this session I will take you through the steps of installing a standalone version of Custom Tools. So let's get started. First, you need to activate the installer file. You can select any of the provided languages to install. I will select English and press OK. There are some pending requirements on this operating system, so I will go ahead and install these. When the requirements has finished installing, Custom Tools main installation will begin. On the welcome screen, press Next. Read the license agreement and accept it to continue installation. Then press Next. In this dialog, type in your user information. Type or paste in the serial number you have received from your reseller and then click Next. Here I'll select the custom version and click Next. From the custom setup dialog, I'll select all of the client tools. I'll also select to install the custom tools database. For now, I'll leave the other options off. Then click Next. This is where we set the system admin password. Use a strong password here and make sure that you remember this. Then click Next again. Then install to perform the installation. SQL 2008 R2 Express will be installed during this process and this may take some time to complete. We also include a default database and a custom tools profile for you. There will also be copy drawing templates and sheet formats to your system. These are customized to work with the profile. More about these templates later on. The installation has now completed and you can choose to view the what's new file and maybe the installer lock. I will unselect the options and press finish. Next. Let us access the Custom Tools Administration application. You will find this in the program list under Custom Tools followed by the version number. In this case, Custom Tools 2013. Press Custom Tools Administration to launch the application. You will receive an error message telling that no licenses are available. And this is OK. We will activate the license now. In the dialog display, type in your user information. Keep the Activate License action as shown and press Next. Press Next to activate custom tools. And now our license has been activated. Click Finish. The administration tool show that a database and a profile was created. For demonstration purpose, I'll create a new database and import a profile. Select Create Database and then click Next in the wizard. Type in a database name. There are several additional options you can combine. I will just keep all the settings as default and then click Next. Type a name for the profile to be created. And select the content of this. I'll keep Machinery Design. Click Next and then Finish to begin installing database with options. Whoops, we have a problem. The current user does not have server admin role. Hmm, let's click OK. Custom Tools prompts for credential of an account with adequate permissions. Luckily, we have just created the SA account and set that password. So now we test our memory. Type in the SA password and click OK. The database is installing. When it completes, click Close. We now have a Your Company database. Let us log in. Admin, no password. 
we can see that the active database is highlighted in bold. Let's import a profile. Mouse button 3. Select Import Profile. Browse the location and select the file. Click Open. In the wizard, click Next to start the import. You can rename the profile if you want to. And there is also an option to set the profile exit. Click Next and then Finish. When the import is complete, click Close. There is a container for users and one for groups. We will get more in depth with this in another session. Let's look a bit more at the profiles. Mouse button 3 brings up a context menu. Here you can pick from different options. The top 4 does what they say, so I'll skip those for now. The permissions I'll look into a bit. You can set user rights for different areas of the profile. I suggest adding users to groups and then assigning permissions to the group. This is by far the most easy to administer. On a standalone installation, you should put yourself in the admin group and assign full permission, as shown here. I'll close this window and look at profile options next. The profile options is where you configure custom tools and your property panel that you see in SolidWorks. This can also be accessed from within SolidWorks where additional options are available. I will not get into greater detail during this session, so I'll close this window again. If I do a mouse button 3 on the active database, I can access the permissions for the database. Here we have quite a lot of settings. But give admin group permissions as shown and assign yourself to this group. I'll close this window again. There is also an option to select database options. Here we can set the session timeout, add, edit or delete attributes manage our dictionaries, and define custom nodes. Custom nodes can be used during batch conversion, but we will get back into this in a later session. I'll close the windows and make sure custom tools is activated inside SolidWorks. I will start SolidWorks to verify this. During the startup of SolidWorks, Custom Tools License Manager is displayed and we need to type in our user information to activate the add-in itself. We know the steps already, so I'll just do this without commenting the process. Login with admin and no password. In another session we will cover how to manage the users. Remember I told you that we also copy some templates to test with. This is the prompt where you can select yes to add these to your SolidWorks file locations for optimal testing of custom tools. With SolidWorks started, we notice a new toolbar. This is custom tools, so the add-in is activated correct. Let us preview this very quick by making a new part. and just maximize the window so we can see the property pane better. Click Custom Tools tab and select Properties. The property pane opens and we can see that the profile is working and ready to test. Thank you for watching and please visit our site for more information and more videos.